Question six, you're told that you have a square. On the square, draw all the lines of symmetry, all of the lines. There's two marks for this, so there's gonna be more than one answer. So a line of symmetry is a line you can draw such that the shape is the same on both sides. So clearly, uh, that's a line of symmetry, okay? So there's one of the lines. You could also do this, okay? Because it's the same on both sides of that line there. Um, you could also go diagonally. Uh, make sure you go through the diagonal, it's not like I've done, because the, sh the shape is uh, the same both sides of that diagonal. And similarly, you could go like that. So there you go, there's your two marks. Here is a rectangle now. Right, that's a different shape. Write down the order of rotational symmetry of the rectangle. Well, I find it easier, so I'd get tracing paper if I was you. Uh, and I'd draw the shape over it. And then I'd hold the tracing paper in the middle, like that. And I'd twist the trace I'd, uh, with a pencil, and while it's held down, I'd twist it around. Now the question is, how many times, actually what I'm gonna do as well, I'm just gonna actually mark the top so I know that where the top is, if you don't mind. Okay, how many times does the rectangle um, fit back into the rectangle on my tracing paper, fit into the rectangle uh, that's on the page? So let's twist it round. Not there, not there, not there, not there, not there. Once, it would do if it was right in the middle I was holding it, and do, 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 all the way back, twice. So the order of rotational symmetry in this question is two. Next part. Here is a different rectangle, and it has width 10 centimeters and height seven. Work out the area of this rectangle. So it's important you uh, realize its area you're dealing with, and it's important that you know that area is the amount of space inside the rectangle. Okay, so how much space is inside the, the, the rectangle? Um, you're also told it's centimetres squared the unit. That gives you a hint. Now, uh, if you know your area formula and you know about rectangles, you'll know that it's seven multiplied by 10, which is equal to 70 centimetres squared. So the answer is 70 centimetres squared. If you wanna know why, um, you're trying to count how many centimetres squared is inside this. Now, um, there are seven centimetres that way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there are 10 centimeters along here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And your aim is to count how many squares there are. They should all be equal. Well, you're counting these. There are 10 along here and there are seven uh, rows. So it's seven times 10. Okay, so that's why it works and that's the answer.